Thank you so much, uh, Soumya and uh, uh, everyone here. So I'm Senthil Kumar. Uh, I born and brought up from uh, a town called Madurai. Uh, it is a, it is in southern part of the country. Uh, one of the oldest living city uh, for almost like 3,000 year oldest city. Uh, when I completed my graduation, I'm looking for a job uh, because I was so attached to the city. I don't want to leave out of Madurai. I come to know that there are no enough IT ecosystem uh, in Madurai. So most of the people, even in Maharashtra, they might be in a smaller town, but for the better life or job opportunity, people has to move to the metro city. So I ended up in Bangalore. So I worked in Fortune 500 company. Uh, I get an opportunity to do a fellowship. So as part of the fellowship, uh, uh, I get an opportunity to travel to a lot of country. Those country, I met uh, officials in a different organization. I come to know that there are people from uh, my hometown or even a southern part of Tamil Nadu who are leading a top position in, in, in the organization, uh, including, I can say, uh, Google Sundar Pichai is actually from Madurai. He born from Madurai. So all these people who are from this smaller city leading top industries, uh, uh, someone from European Space Agency, like head of that, he's from the southern uh, state of Tamil Nadu. I was so surprised. I went, uh, uh, asked these people, will you come back to Madurai? Because where the migration continuously happening and that particular city become brain drain. There is no talent pool is available for them. Everyone told one thing that, yes, I want to come back, but I don't know what I will do coming back to Madurai because there is no enough ecosystem there where I can do something from Madurai. I asked them like, what do you want so that you all come back to this uh, city or we can create an enough ecosystem. And he told um, there should be a lot of IT company should be there. Okay, there are a lot of talent pool, community of developers should be there so that we can able to come back. After this, like all travel back to India and then uh, went to a couple of IT companies, one of top IT companies in Bangalore and Chennai. I asked the management, uh, will you interested to come back to Madurai to set up office because a lot of engineers are actually coming from the southern uh, city in Bangalore and Chennai. Will you come back? They hesitated uh, and they told, um, but I don't know, Madurai is a safe place. And I was wondering why you, you are thinking Madurai is not a safe place. Everyone I'm interacting, everyone saying the similar thing. We want to come back, we want to do something in a smaller town, but I don't think so Madurai is a safe place uh, to do that. I really don't know the context of safe place. Then I have deep down into them. Here I realized that if you watch any Tamil movie, the hero is actually from Chennai, the villain is actually from Madurai. <laughs> okay, every movie, literally every movie. So that actually created a perception of all the audience who were watch that movie. Okay, everyone uh, will carry a big sword in the shirt. I went to talk to all these media guys. Why you always make Madurai people as a villain? Oh, you can't make a hero is from Madurai, okay? And they say, we want to cover the entire state. Hero is in Chennai, so the, that part is covered. And uh, kept another character, is a main character in the movie, is a villain. So another character from Madurai, make sure that we're able to cover the whole state. This is a perception, but not reality. Then I went to a lot of police, uh, cops, I went and interacted. Uh, Sir, please tell me, is really Madurai is not a safe place to live? What is the crime rate? Can you please share me the crime rate of Madurai? So the commissioner uh, had a good interaction with me and he told uh, Sendhil, actually in a crime rate wise, actually my Madurai is the third or fourth compared to all other states, other districts uh, uh, in Tamil Nadu. We need to do some things are like, we need to do something to change uh, this perception uh, where talent pools are there, but they are moving to the metro. And uh, I lived a couple of months in Mumbai. I realized my entire life is, day is going on the traffic because everyone is migrated here. When it rains, almost like I can say f four to six hours in the road, fine. I can watch two movies when it starts raining in Mumbai. So I thought, um, can I do something in Madurai so, so that the reverse migration happens? So I talked to the company. Uh, they told me that, prove me that Madurai is not a dangerous place. It's a safe place so that we can come back and set up a company there. I interacted with the police. I told them that now my problem is one, one thing. I need to prove the city is safe place to an IT company to come and set up their office in Madurai, I need to make there are a lot of talent pool available for them to hire. Because they say all are in Chennai, like what I will do to Madurai, whom I hire. So when my college days or school days, first, second, third is girls. 
they are the toppers. If you take 10th exam, they are the toppers. 12th, they are the toppers. College also, they are the topper. We are in the 4th, 5th. All my topper uh, friends, they get married, they are ideally sitting in uh, Madurai. This is all intelligent girls, highly intelligent girls. Can I utilize this young, these girls who are like, you know, really intelligent in schools, colleges, but due to some social uh, pressure, family pressure, they could not be able to move to Chennai for the job. So they get married and ideally sitting, but the talent is there. Can I use this talent pool to create a developer ecosystem in Madurai? This is the first thought. I went to the police and I told, um, sir, please tell me what is the highest rate of crime happening in the city. The police told me that uh, the highest crime in the city is chain snatching. So when a woman have a gold thing, something, someone come in the bike, they'll take that and run away. I want to solve this particular problem, okay, using this young talent pool of girls. So what I have done is every weekend I come back to Madurai, five days I work in Bangalore, we can come back to Madurai. I started teaching technology to all these young girls. Instead of just teaching tools or something, I told them that, hey, you want to solve certain problem. For that solving problem, you are actually uh, learning technology. It is not like you learn technology to get a job. You want to solve the problem, so you are learning technology for that. So that is a context I set. So in the police, I told, uh, sir, uh, why are you not able to caught this chain snatcher? And they told, sir, uh, we, by seeing the face, sometime we can able to identify them. This particular guy is a chain snatcher. You should get them right, like why you are not getting those people? And they told, uh, so the system, the current system is, if I get one guy as a suspicious, Currently, I need to take them into the custody, like police station. I have to get his fingerprint sample and take this fingerprint sample, compare with all the 60,000 criminal record to find a match he has any criminal record. Using a lens, note by note, they'll match the finger samples to find a criminal. So one guy to find it will take two, three days and they can't keep the guy for two, three days in the police station. If the guy find a, a innocent, then some other complication will happen. So they say, sir, I know the system is not allowing me to get it. So I told, sir, we can use a digital fingerprint monitor and all. Sir, this is all device based, uh, and then there is a procurement, there is approval, there are so co complicated process. So I see he has a mobile phone, okay. Mobile ha phone has a, some decent camera. So what I told these young girls is like, I form a pool of team, I told them that guys, like, uh, we are building a massive AI model for the state of Tamil Nadu where 65,000 criminals will be trained in the model with their face. So every time they, they do uh, any crime, their photo will be taken. So that whole photo is taken with the 10 years of variation. So how the particular guy look like in the after 10 years with a beard, not beard. So all the combination. So I trained them to build this powerful AI model. Girls developed the application called CopSci. It's a very simple application. We gave this application to the, all the constables in the traffic signal, wherever they are. Okay, now we told them that, you say, right, you found someone suspicious. Whenever you think someone is suspicious, get a permission. Before get a permission, like I'm going to take a photo of you, take a photo of the person. Instantly, this algorithm will mapping to all the 65,000 crime record. And in real time, it will tell this particular guy has any crime, criminal background or not. If he has, what type of criminal background if, and his previous case history, everything will be shown. Meantime, he is doing all those things. We built an application in the control room where in the Madurai map, it will show like this particular location, there is a match found. So immediately they can deploy enough uh, uh, police resources to catch this one. So this application we developed, this is how the model works. Like uh, they just take a photo and uh, it match with massive data set of criminal with an AI. The algorithm itself will say if the, how the guy will look like if he has a beard, how the guy look like 10 years before, how the guy look like after 10 years. So all the combination it will generate and uh, mass, that photo will be matched with a fast response it will tell. So that SCRB is State Criminal Record Bureau. That is where all the criminal's photo data will be available. Instantly it will show the result. The system will alert for enough uh, uh, backend thing. So after deploying uh, this solution, uh, it, it ran for one, one and a half month of period. And the, the police come and told me that 48 high rated criminals, we are searching for eight to 15 years in the city, all of them we got. 
48 high rated criminal in the city not at all able to find it. example what happens is like um, they will take to the court the judge will give remand or something and this guy will escape and 10 year police will search for them they don't know where he went all these guys the 48 high rated criminal they caught from the system the total crime rate of the city is went less than 2 percentage total crime rate of the city now went to less than 6 percentage and uh, global media bbc and all they have taken this as a case study and they start comparing with the chinese model because in china they have a open cctv camera without your permission they will take a photo and do all this analysis on your photo so they have put an article that hey, there is a city in india called madurai where the cops become a digital cops they are using a ai methodology with a privacy driven approach that means they are not taking every random people photo they are only taking suspicious people photo and with a permission from them so this is the best way of using ai in a face recognition and this police are using this technology to find a, a criminal in the city and reducing lot of crime rate in the city that become a massive uh, pr okay after that uh, the chief minister of the state and they call like uh, what you guys are doing suddenly there is a drastic reduction in the crime rate and it was picked in all the me public media and we explained them so this application we launched it like uh, madurai kavalan kavalan means tamil version of the police so they told uh, we remove this madurai keyword and put kavalan and launch it for the entire uh, state so that's how the product launched for entire state and almost uh, 40 lakh people using the solution okay we added additional features like sos but this is where the girls are so intelligent this girl thought okay sir already i'm in a pressure mode because something happening for me will i open my purse nicely open it take the phone unlock the screen go to the application go to the menu and click the sos will i do that no, i never do that that means all the sos applications are available in the market but it is not useful when i really need it then i ask like tell me then how we can solve this problem sir when i am get emergency what i will do is i'll shout i will do like this shout whatever it is then we added a model in the application that if you shout help me help me for a continuous time it can pick up the voice interface just to do help me help me continuously that's what they i'll do so in it, it can listen in tamil also kapatenga kapatenga so it can pick up that word and trigger that otherwise you can shake your hand back whatever it is sometime you are panic you cannot able to tell help me word you just need to shake the uh, bag or wherever the phone is there or okay suddenly there is a different direction it happening then it triggers the sos this feature literally helped so many girls in tamil nadu because whenever they are stuck in the lift or some random places we able to save thousands of girl at the emergency situation the talent pool is there and there's really talent that they could able to solve the problem that picked up again the pr all the media covered it and now what happened is all the companies start coming back to madurai now madurai has 200 plus it companies and and giving employment to more than 10000 plus people reverse migration happening in the city of madurai covid also really helped us with my mission covid align lot of people who worked in chennai they are all coming back because of better lifestyle better food madurai has a really good food now i am able to increase more number of women engineer in the it company see why i want to more involving women into that is um, last 100 years if you take 95 percentage of invention is actually contributed by the men and the problem is men don't think about the another aspect of the cost of the innovation example men can invent pl plastic and he really don't know how to destroy plastic but if the same plastic was invented by a woman she also invented a bacteria which can eat the plastic how nature designs is whatever nature creates nature always create one more bacteria which can consumes it creates coconut cell which is hard okay but nature also create a bacteria which can eat the coconut cells and make it null so this is how the women will innovate they always innovate in the balancing mode so men innovation is more on like directional and uh, it's more focusing on just solving the problem for right now that's why last 100 year lot of innovation happened but again the climate change now we are all reverse thing that's why uh, we need more women engineer to be part of this innovation forum so that the next 100 year innovation is more on sustainable innovation and that only can be do by 
women, their thought process. So this girls, like whatever girls I mentored, till the time all the parent who thought my daughter just need to get one gradu uh, graduation and go for a marriage, after this girls getting enough PR, social media coverage, all the media coverage, all the parents started uh, thinking in reverse direction that, okay, my daughter can go for a job now. In Tamil Nadu, 20 years before, if you take, they say, schooling is enough. Then the mindset changed, okay, one, one degree is enough. Now we change the mindset, said, okay, you go for a job until you get married. And after the marriage, you convince your husband to continue that. So now there are huge talent pool created in the city, almost 1,000 plus uh, girls mentored throughout that, made that same girls to solve the problem again and again. As a community, we built, we open sourced it, and the girls who are all participated, when they go for an interview, they don't need to worry about, uh, do I am good in English? They, they just to start with a problem statement. Okay, so I told them that how to crack the interview is, there is a first question every interview the interviewer will ask, which is tell about yourself. Okay, now you make sure that the 20 minutes you do tell about yourself, so the interview will get over, but ensure that the 20 minutes you're able to impress them with all this uh, powerful community stories, all those things. So these all girls are able to crack interview, get selected for that. This kind of a action is happening in other smaller town also, whatever model uh, we built. They able to mentor next set of batch of girls, and this program is happening as a chain reaction uh, there. If you are from, your uh, home tone is different from Mumbai. Uh, I, I want to think that at least a monthly once, you can go back to your home tone, okay, observe it, okay. What is the problem? Can you build a small community there? Can you contribute? So I started initially, like what I do is like, whatever knowledge I'm gaining from Bangalore, uh, example in Bangalore, there are a lot of developer ecosystem, hackathon used to happen. So I'll just to do a clonathon event in the next week. So whatever knowledge I gained from that, I'll go back to my hometown and replicate the same program. So this all, and I'm able to get a talent pool also. A Lot of talent pool is available, who are passionate to work. One thing I'll, I'll guarantee you that, when you're able to do that, the people from you, that location really treat you like a superhero. You do some small impact in your own community, the amount of respect you get from the people that you can do for that. That monthly one week travel you can do for that. Uh, do some initiative there. Uh, so this program is continuously, we are trying to replicate the model. All the smaller town, after COVID, this is really happening. Bigger companies are ready to set up an office. Now remote work culture is created. So a lot of women, the number of women contributing to the technology field is drastically increased. Uh, and this kind of a use case really motivate them and their parents to come into that. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah.